do you feel about silence? In today's noisy world, many are uncomfortable with silence. There's a feeling that it needs to be filled. But what we don't appreciate is that silence enables something magical to happen that won't occur without it. There's another benefit in silence that Leonardo da Vinci identified. He said, nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. Silence can help you learn and better respect someone's communication patterns. I was coaching a CEO who is a really deep thinker. I remember more than once I'd ask a question, allow some silence, and then I'd jump back into the conversation. I found that I was interrupting his processing. The more I was able to give him space with his thoughts, the more insight and awareness he gained. I had to get out of the way to let him answer the question. And as a result, he had greater breakthroughs than if I had tried to rush the conversation forward. There's different kinds of silence. Constructive silence moves a conversation or discussion forward and destructive silence shuts down communication and creates barriers that discourage speakers from expressing their thoughts. So silence can be leaden and silence can be golden. We've all experienced various negative silences. Silences where we felt awkward, embarrassed, defensive, or fearful. These experiences could be termed as destructive or leaden silences. Constructive silences are golden. During these times, we feel confident, comfortable, reflective, peaceful, or respected. A constructive silence is a helpful tool for enhancing communication, especially after asking a question. Silence can communicate respect. A constructive silence helps hold space for the person to frame their thoughts, and it shows that you're attentive to what's said. A pause before responding demonstrates that you're listening to understand versus listening to respond. Silence improves creativity. It leaves room for someone to share something that they otherwise might have dismissed. It allows the person to be more reflective and able to consider a wider range of possibilities. Silence allows the processing of thoughts. People are normally silent when they're thinking. Allowing the silence enables deeper processing of thoughts and enables the person you're with to make connections in their brain. When you work with a skilled coach, this is exactly what they do. So how can you get better at silence? Practice. In casual conversations, intentionally build your tolerance for silence. Reflect on your own behavior after a conversation. For example, with the CEO that I was coaching, I had to pause and say, why was I doing that? So if you rush to respond or fill in silence, ask yourself why? What were you reacting to? Then pay attention. Look for others around you who use silence effectively. Observe how long they're silent before responding to get a sense of how short a time it takes to be really impactful. Are they doing anything to help themselves remain silent? Watch and learn. The next tip is relax and breathe. Keep a neutral or positive facial expression. This means not to glare, raise your eyebrows, or appear too eager or anxious for the response. Invest the time needed for them to provide their best perspectives and a meaningful answer to the question you ask. The quieter you are able to become, the more you can hear.